Hi, I'm Claire and I'm a lecturer in chemistry and what motivated me to get started with community-based learning projects was being able to have our students applying their knowledge that they have in a real-world environment while also working on a project that was of benefit to community partners. So to me it's a win-win situation. I'm based currently in the School of Chemical and Pharmaceutical Sciences and that's where I've been involved in the community-based learning activities that I've implemented. But I also spent a three years secondment in the Learning Teaching and Technology Centre, which was very important from the point of view of learning more about how community-based learning and teaching is implemented more widely across Te Technological University Dublin and other universities and institutes of technology. We've worked with a range of community partners uh, over the years, so that would include Core Youth Project, the Ashling Project, the Homework Project in Ballymun, and a number of local primary schools and secondary schools. It involves our second year students and the community partners that they work with would be either a primary school or sometimes a secondary school with early secondary school students or else a youth project or a homework club. So you're working with young people who are interested in science. Uh, we would Sometimes they would be peop there would be young people who have already said that they're, they're interested in a science project and other times it's, it's a group that are involved in a particular activity and they, they may not necessarily have, have said they particularly want to do science but they're, they're there as part of a, a homework club and it's, it's something that they get um, an opportunity to try out. Uh, so the students that are involved are students, are second year students and one of the things we had to think about initially was what module will work best because you need to link the learning outcomes and the academic credit to that for our students to what, the stu what they're going to be doing with the community partner. So the programme is um, Medicinal Chemistry with Pharmaceutical Sciences uh, and the module is just called Professional Skills Development. So it's, it kind of does what it says in the tin but it's, it's applied to chemistry and to science. Um, and it would include some workplace regulations to do with safety and handling chemicals in a safe way and that also comes in very nicely with the project because the students have to do a risk assessment of what they're going to be doing and check that it's safe to do it in the environment they're going to be in. Because uh, they wouldn't have the same controls that you'd have in a lab, there's no fume hood and, and things like that that we would use. So it's their first opportunity usually to be the expert in the room. So they're working with the community partners and the young people and they're the expert in the area of the science they're trying to communicate. Uh, but obviously the community partners are the experts in the area of how best to engage the students so that tends to work really well that combination and the learning outcomes there would relate to skills like communication working in teams and also um, information retrieval research um, and thinking more like a professional there was already an element of reflection we made that stronger because that's a very important part of um, community engaged learning it was just a much more real world and engaging project that they were involved in instead of what we would have used previously. And they also can see beyond the narrow confine of what their profession can do that because of their science background that they can then get involved in more activities like this. Um, there's nothing to stop them then going on and being involved in other outreach activities in the future because you know they, they've gotten to know how to do it and they have the necessary skills to, to, to get involved. I um, would try to encourage my colleagues as well, we would try to implement community-based learning where we can. We've also implemented community-based research projects and that's being uh, supported very much so by the work that the students learning with communities staff do because they circulate a list of projects and that they've done the hard work of working out what the community needs are and then we can, we can get involved at that stage. Certainly there, there's a quite a bit of, of work involved in setting everything up but it's just so much more rewarding from the point of view of how enjoyable it is for us as staff and that the students are so much more engaged and motivated than if it was something that didn't have a real world application. So I would say start small and gradually and draw on the resources that are around you and once you start you won't want to stop. <laughs>